are leaving the town of Saint Jean Pied du Port, walking along this beautiful country road. You got fields of grass. It's a little bit misty. The sprinkles are real. And we have started our Camino. Wild strawberries. It is the afternoon on day one of the Camino de Santiago for us, and so far, most of the hike has been walking on the road that goes out of saint jean pied du port and goes towards Roncevalles, Roncevalles. And there's really two routes that you can go on when you leave saint jean There's one route that goes high over the mountain and there's one route that goes down through the valley underneath. And the one on the mountain is generally recommended because of the views and that was one that was traditionally taken more than the other because it's pretty open and there's not a lot of places for bandits to hide. You can see here going through the valley there's tons of foliage, tons of wooded areas. It would be quite easy to jump out and rob somebody here. But it was very foggy this morning and we didn't want to walk through the mist on the mountain so we chose to take the low road and so here we are. We first passed through the town of That's the name of the town. <laughs> no, just kidding. We passed through the town of Arnegui. I think that's how you say it. And then passed through the town of Val Carlo. And it was mostly road walking, but this section is really nice. Because we're walking on a trail through the valley. This is the kind of hiking I like. Nice and in nature, in the soft dirt, out on the hard asphalt. So yeah, it's nice, that's what we're doing so far. We are now leaving Roncevalles, ou Roncevaux, en français, and we are heading 13.6 miles to the next town, which is Zubiri. We have arrived in Zubiri. I don't know what that means, but it means food and a shower, so I'm cool with that. 